So, what are we going to do now? We have to export the geometry. Um, we have to hide the peer group by pressing Control H. And select this. Uh, and I want to export this as an SD file. Why did I hide the peer? Well, yes, sometimes it happens that um, the SD exporter is exporting some unwanted geometry. I just want to have the C ground in my in real flow. So I don't want to re export things, and this is why I excluded the peer by simply hiding it. Now I'm clicking here on this one and click on the on the folder 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 icon. Always make sure that you click on the folder icon. Never just type anything in here because um, whatever you type in here is overridden. I um, have have made very bad experience with that. So you better type. Uh, where is my real flow? Real flow, here it is. Ocean swells 01. Now you're in your project, in your real flow project directory, the one you've been creating here in real flow when we were starting the scene. And browse to a folder named objects. And name the file Seaground. And press enter. So here you can see this will be exported. Uh, we do not, um, because we do not have any animation on this, we do not um, you have to use the whole playback range. Just say one and one. One frame is sufficient and it will be there for all subsequent frames in real flow. Um, also, one thing on this SD file format. SD files are a um, next limit specific file format for um, transfer transferring files from, for example, Maya to RealFlow or to other next limit projects such as Maxwell Render. And um, it is important that you're using SD wherever possible when um, working with RealFlow. This is because um, if you're what you could also export um, things as an OBJ, and sometimes it feels that this SD is a bit awkward. But um, RealFlow is better in handling as thieves. It's faster, and um, there are sometimes there are strange um, issues, and y then you realize w there are strange issues when exporting as an OBJ, and then you realize uh, when you're re exporting the same thing as an SD, the issue is gone. So uh, use SD. It's uh, the RealFlow engine is just working better with an SD. So I export that, and then I export the peer. I'll be pressing Control H and select the peer. Shift H, and it's here again. I'm going to do the very same thing. Now I select the the folder icon again. Not just type. Not never type in here here in here because it will just um, override your C ground SD. You can do it here. Peer SD export. It takes a little more time because there are a whole lot of more vertices to process. And now you'll probably realize why I just exported it f to one frame because it's a non-animated object. We um, can, can export the object for the the whole timeline and create a cache, but um, if you're just looking at the very same frame over and over again, you really don't need that. Okay, back in RealFlow, I need to set the correct scale. This is because one unit in RealFlow, this here, is always approximately one meter, and in Maya it's different. And the way I modeled in Maya. Um, should oh should match the um, scale in real flow is important. So I set the geometry scale of 0 0.5, and you have to do this prior to importing. Never change anything here in the scale options. 
during your simulations. This if you want to scale. And usually I recommend that you scale your objects in Maya so that they are um, in real form that you're working always working with a 1.0 scale because there are some issues that could happen when you're um, using scale. And this time I uh, was I was using it, but um, normally I, I really don't use it. I always uh, tend tend to avoid scaling in 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 real flow because sometimes the um, there are there have been issues I have been running into. Um, we can close this. But, uh, um, there have been issues, by the way, and um, but this time we're using 0.5 scale. All right. You can close this button because I don't need this, so you will be able to see more. In RealFlow, I'm going to import my geometry using the import, import object, and it automatically goes to your objects folder. This is why we have been exporting stuff here. And I select Seaground SD and open that. Now we're seeing the Seaground. And what the RealFlow did in the background for us was triangulating the geometry because RealFlow only works with triangulated objects. So if you ever happen to export an OBJ because it is good in your situation, you like it in your situation, then um, make sure to triangulate the uh, mesh in Maya before. All right. Um, now we still need the, the pier. And um, we will be using the multibody for it. The multibody, this is a special special type of geometry in real flow. It's normally used for rigid bodies. But this time we will be using this for the pier because um, it just simulates faster with these high resolution objects. And a very good thing on that is if we um, we can also do a setup that um, will allow us to break this into individual parts because I in the group I have all the individual parts here um, all right we have been um, importing that and now we have to make sure that this does not appear here in the global links window some people like global links. I really don't like this. I prefer using the exclusive links. Well, right now there is neither something in the exclusive links nor something in the global links. So what's this guy talking about? Well, you see. Um, if in your version of RealFlow, in your copy of RealFlow, there should be standing something, erase that. So now click with a right mouse click on the notes window. There is add. And here's this add to global links. Make sure there is no hook. All right. Um, then the export central is also important for preparation. Just press F12 and this window will open. F12. And there you see this cache BDC. We don't want that. We don't want a, a body dynamic cache to be written out for our files because we're using static objects. So um, there's no need for a BDC in the first place. So just unhook that. And let's say, oh no, something else, the file name options. RealFlow has a little bit awkward um, style of naming. And if you are writing out displacement, for example, and you're using Maya, Maya cannot read texture sequences that are using this type of naming. So we'll be using this, let's say, four digits will do. Done. All right. Now we uh, should be grouping this. Select those two and right click group and then right click rename and name the group SD. This will make it easier for us to handle everything that is in the SD file. Now save it and that's it for step one. 
we can proceed to step two now and do a little bit more interesting real flow work.